Hey, have you ever wondered why there are runts in a litter of pigs? Let me tell you. So, a runt is a piglet that is born with significantly lower body weight and generally suffers from other developmental issues such as weak bones, undeveloped organs, and heart issues. Not all litters have runts, but many do. So here in the womb, we see several eggs are fertilized and implanted in the horn-shaped uterine wall of the sow. Prenatal runting occurs when one or two fetuses have placental insufficiency, meaning they don't have enough nutrients, blood, and oxygen from the mama, which affects fetal growth significantly. The placement of the fetus in the uterus, farther away from the mom's blood supply, also contributes to less nourishment. So piglets, they come out in their birth order with the larger, more dominant piglets coming out first and the smaller ones later. The big piglets secure the front teats, which supply the most milk because of the natural flow of milk, while the little guys typically get the rear teats, which supply the least amount of milk or are not functional at all. A mother's first milk can contains colostrum, which is a rich fluid ripe with antibodies that are crucial for survival in the first week of litter. If the piglet neglects to get a fictional teat or one at all, it gets less colostrum, which makes it vulnerable and weak in comparison to the others. Because of their lack of antibodies and underdevelopment, runts grow at a slower rate and take significantly longer to reach slaughter weight than larger pigs. Their lack of muscle fiber means reduced potential for muscular growth and therefore causes them to produce carcasses that have more fat and less muscle, making them less desirable in market. If left alone, most rented pigs will never compensate for the lost body weight in comparison to nourished pigs, and most cases die before they do. However, if they pass the 68 week mark and are given the food, nutrients, warm environment, and tender loving care that I know people give them, then they will develop to be similar to their litter mate. However, in most cases, because of the low feed efficiency of runts, meaning the food goes to fat and not muscle, most swine producers sacrifice the runts right away, give them away, or sell them as bottle babies. They are not economically efficient because of all the time and effort that goes into keeping them alive and may never reach slaughter weight and therefore little profit is gained in return. Thanks for watching guys and hope to see you next time.